Okay, here we go. Lazy Butt Studios here. We're gonna have a two reviews up today. Let's go. So, um, during Christmas, I got my Holy Grail. Alright? Now, you guys, at least I hope you guys do, from my room tours, know that I love Invincible. And yes, a review of The Walking Dead Compendium 1 will be out shortly. Yeah, I have all the trades. And then, not only that, but I have issues 51, which is a little hard to see. 111, 44, 52, and I also have that beautiful poster that I got from Inside Image Plus. Now, I also have issue 44, or issue uh, 127. So, yeah, I'm a big Invincible fan. Um, tell me in the comments below, are you guys excited for End of All Things? Which, I think I'll do a video on that. But, to the review. Alright. This bad boy is the 8-inch mini. Now, the box, um, I have a really big problem with this. The box isn't larger than Mark Grayson, but, or isn't larger than Mark Grayson by much, but it is bigger. I would have liked to have Mark Grayson be as big as the box, um, so it'd, like, be as tall and as, as big as the box. But that doesn't take away from the beauty of this thing. And it is so amazing. The box is great. Um, I think that's from issue 111 or 112. And, and, and this is, uh, some of Cory Walker's work in the corner. Like, it really is a beautiful display. Um, now... The figure itself is really stylized. Some people may not like that, but me personally, I think it is amazing. And the hair is so dynamic and fun. Now, I do have a problem with these. Um, these go a little bit too far down, um, but it is definitely fine. The f it does not take away from the figure. And the paint is amazing. They got the colors just right. Not only that, but while there are a couple paint lines that bleed over into the fleshy parts, it is so not noticeable. Now, I am going to rate this. If you are an Invincible fan who is looking for merchandise for the Invincible series, it is on Skybound.com. Get it before it is gone. It is a beautiful piece, and you will love this in your collection. The small gripes that I do have with this one is, um, if you do look on the back, there is a um, 3 in 4 chance that you could get the blue one, which, if you want the yellow one, I feel is a very bad decision, marketing-wise. They should release two, one blue and one yellow. And if you do get the blue one, it doesn't display well with the box, which I don't like at all. So, luckily I did get the one I wanted. So, uh, yeah. Go out and get this. It is amazing. Lazy Bus Studios, out.